Welcome back to the Waterlogged Woodsman. Today we're running it back in Rocky Mountain National Park and we're gonna be fishing for cutthroat trout. Now, today we're doing a similar, very similar thing to what I did about a year ago at this exact same time, which is fish all these alpine lakes in Rocky Mountain National Park. This first one behind me is the lock, and we've actually done some fishing already in here, and I've caught three fish, so you'll see that coming up in a second. There's actually a fish right here behind me about three feet back that's already eating. Fish in this lake really um, key in on all the insect species, and so they pretty much you can guarantee every morning will be rising and so we fish with a lot of small flies usually black and that seems to be what they like in these lakes if you want to do this yourself you should look on the rocky mountain national park uh, map and you can see this lake called the lock it's about a 2.7 mile hike in so it's a little bit long but you know for this type of fishing you get to sight fish these trout in crystal clear water i definitely enjoy it a lot more um, than a lot of other types of fishing and I think it's definitely worth it. But the real reason we're doing this today is because my dad's with me, which you may or may not have seen depending on how I edited the video, but we hiked in today um, and Ben's with us as well. But I'm just taking him, he's out here helping me move into Colorado, so I'm taking him around and showing him the things that I did last year that I really enjoyed, which one of my favorite things was definitely fishing these lakes up here in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's like, uh, got one. This is a good one. Pretty big. Yeah. Fish right below me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he came off.
Yep. Yep. No. Okay. All right, so actually the next thing we're doing is we're gonna head up to the next higher lake, which is gonna be back in here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, but, um, and we're gonna hope that there's trout up there and we're gonna see what we can catch. We hiked uphill and after another two miles or so, we've made it up here to Sky Pond. This lake is a little different. It's got brook trout in it and they seem to be a little bit more finicky. I wonder if it's just because uh, so many people seem to hike up here. This is the end point of the trail really. These fish don't really seem to be feeding on the surface as much either. I don't know if that's a species specific thing. So we're gonna give it a little bit of a go, maybe with some dry flies and stuff and then Maybe do dry dropper or fish uh, a tent car as well. Uh, we'll see what we do and we'll hopefully catch some fish. This is a male brookie. You wanna see this one? He's all colored up. Tent car rod strikes again per usual. Never fails. Come on. Just unclip it. Oh, oh. Oh man, he's running. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, he's taking off on me. <laughs> oh, he got, he got wrapped a little. Hold on. He might take a second to get to you. Come on. Scoop him. Good, nice. Whatever he's using, it hit immediately. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good? Yep. All right, underwater release. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Got him. <laughs> Video. Yeah. <laughs> Instant. Uh, you want a net or no? I don't know if I need one. He's smaller. I'll hand you guys over this road in a second here. They're out there still. Were you seeing them strike? Uh, kinda. Yep. <laughs> it's a cheating rod. See, I had to use his rod. I can't catch all day. I use his rod and it catches immediately. It's cheating. <laughs> you, need, you don't need the net, do you? No. <laughs> oh. There's like three or four. Oops. Yep. Got one. <laughs> oh, it's green. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> oh, he wants me to land it for him. He can't oh, land yeah, it, Cole. Yeah, cheater. Cheater doesn't count, not your fish. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Mine. That's a good one. Ooh. Ooh. Put it in the sun. I grab two hands. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Man. Every time, Dad's second fish. Just dumb brook trout. 
We could clean up if we were trying to get dinner out of this. When you can't, you gotta get over them though. I don't think you're over any. Yeah, there's a big one just to his right. Dang. To the left. Oh, oh, that one's starting to go. Got one. Yeah. <laughs> Fish on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See, it wasn't the cheating rod. Cheating. Cheating fly. Yeah. That's my biggest of the day. Really? Hell yeah. Nice though. Huh? Yep. Chill. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a real pretty one. Alright, release. Dad's got another one. It's the same fly. I'll show you guys this later when I can get a closer view, but this fly's been killing it. It's another one of those greenish ones. Tinkara and now the fly rod both. Just kind of dead sticking it, casting it, letting it sink, and that's how they've been eating it. Ready on. Why look at the colors. Yeah. It's paint, blue, orange, yellow, yeah. green. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Dragged up a cliff face. I can't see crap there. Nah, there's no fish right oh, there. You oh, oh, you oh. Where did he come from? I mean, he came out of nowhere. You gotta buy it. Dad, I need my sunglasses out of your bag. Hold on. Yeah, I know. I'm casting like straight up. Can you see him off that? Nah, like when that one hit, we didn't even see that one where it came from. It was like... Yeah. There's a small one though. I mean, that's fine. It's probably better, honestly. If I get... If I hook a big one, I'm kind of screwed. Probably gonna lose the big one over here. Where? Oh, I see him. Oh, there's no way there's another one. Oh, the wind. The wind, the wind, the wind. Get yourself down with that. Come on. Thank you. Oh, he's, he's out there. Yep. 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 Come oh, on. Go, go, go. Got him. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, God. I might be able to get him up. You're where you lose your hook. Yeah, we'll just, we'll try. Nah, uh, it's probably fine just for yeah. You got it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Here, just follow him up with the camera, ready? <laughs> oh, don't shake. Don't shake. Don't shake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'm ready. I'll show him to you. <laughs> you get one? Yep. Is that on your uh is that your it's gift? On the gift. The gift fly. Oh really? Yep. Nice. You need the net? No. Not for sure. Not out yet. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, I hope I'm like that. Yeah, he's really good at hiking. He keeps up with me too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was on camera. I lost track of the line, but. <laughs> Just in case we don't get a good. There we go. The red one's working.
There we go. She's windy, folks. We're on the way down from Mirror Lake now where we caught quite a few fish as well. Ben finally figured it out, that red fly was working for him. And now we're going to hike all the way back down. Well, I've made it back home now and it's about time I show you guys the fly that we were so successful with in Rocky Mountain National Park. And before I show you the fly though, I'd like to ask you that if you liked this video and found it useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of the same content, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep creating videos. Um, but the fly that we used is the Ishigaki Kabari, which is a Tinkara fly. And if you Google it, it literally takes two things to tie, which is black thread, which makes up the body, and brown hackle. And the brown hackle is tied facing forwards instead of backwards like a traditional fly. Um, so that way, when water hits it, it pulses. Um, but that is the fly that we used, and um, it was the most deadly thing that I figured out how to catch fish on in this past trip into Rocky Mountain National Park. So give it a go, let me know how you guys do with it, and I'll see you in the next video.